Good evening, everyone. It is April 3rd. Uh, welcome to The Spin. Uh, John, welcome. Thanks. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, Tyler, in a different uh, background, where are you this this, uh, this fine I'm, evening? Uh, I'm in Carmel, Indiana. My wife's doing quarterfinals this weekend, and the, the uh, CrossFit Westfield is the team that she's on, so we had to drive up here from, from Bloomington. So we're staying in Carmel this weekend. Do you say That's caramel it. or caramel, Spin? It is caramel. I, I I used to live up in Indianapolis area, so it is caramel. Carmel, the city not Carmel, called, not Carmel. Yeah. Like it's uh, not California. Oh, it's, people. it's spelled different. Yeah, it's spelled different. It's not spelled like caramel. Okay. Well, uh, if you are here looking for Colton Burton's and Jake Berman, you are exactly seven days too early. Uh, Unfortunately, on Monday, uh, he had a little bit of a timing issue, couldn't make it. So he and Colton agreed to push it back one week. The good news is we do have some new sponsors down there. So Hero Barbell and Swolverine have stepped up and now it will be a winner take all next Wednesday. Same time, $1,000 to the winner, 100 fastest bar facing burpees. That's exciting. So yeah, yeah. And then uh, we also have another sponsor, Manta Sleep. So, um, so bummed I don't get. Finally to wear got them, and I and I forgot mine. So hopefully John remembers. I have. I have my. It's in Thank my uh, bedroom. You want me to go get it real quick? You better get it because we got a that okay. that'll be coming up here. Right. Um, they are they are sponsoring now, the blind rankings. Go ahead and wait. Go ahead and wait. Okay. Um, go ahead. And when, wait. When we're when we're getting that set up. We will start it off. Uh. The Iron Hog, can John do 100 bar facing burpees? How yes. fast can you do 100 Iron bar Hog. facing burpees, John? Um, Around five minutes. So you need a 20. I think, I think, I think I've think i done it before, and I was like 450 something. So you need like 25, 20 to 25 20 burpee head, head start against those guys. Ooh. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's wild <laughs> when you think about it that way, though, isn't it? All right. Well, we don't have to make me feel bad when I'm pretty sure I'm beating both of you in that workout. But I don't know. Tyler might be able to beat it. Me at that. Um, I do a thirty it. burpee head start. If you want to give me a thirty burpee head start, I will go live with both of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's see if I well, can. It, in the post I made on Monday, Hiller said, uh, "How about Savon for 30? Getting a get a head start, and oh, uh, I think Savon would need a sixty burpee head start. I <laughs> uh, it, I it's gonna be interesting to see how fast those guys can go. But uh, next Wednesday, Colton versus Jake. Dude, if y'all are serious, and I get the money, if I win, I will absolutely send it for seventy burpees. <laughs> 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 like, like uh, completely I think, go as fast as I can <laughs> until I can't go anymore. <laughs> I, I think uh, I think we need to leave it to the guys that actually finish a complete hundred. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, first of all, you'll see down there there is a live call in number. Uh, feel free to call in at any time if you want to weigh in. We won't let you uh, stay as long as Travis was last time, but if you have a comment, go for it. And then uh, later this evening a new segment crossfit games trivia but it's not with both of these guys it is with john versus the world one of you guys will be able to call in compete against john for some trivia questions uh the person who does call in first to that segment will receive a 20 dollar gift card from paper street coffee so just for participating you get 20 dollars paper street coffee and if you can actually beat John, you will get one of the very limited barbell spin flags. So <laughs> the very limited, very limited. Uh, there's been They're one really hard for him to make guys so, they, so they I are, have to try to are. beat everybody. So, uh, it's up to you, John, not to, not to reduce my inventory. You are muted Tyler. Tyler. Uh, Glee, if you have, if you call, have a take and don't suck. That's true. Uh, mint trading cards, nine ninety nine annual payment to get my logo on the banner. 
we'll see about that. But I do appreciate the 999. All right. Uh, first off, um, before John loses his mind on the team quarterfinal workout, uh, we will start off with some viewer comments. Uh, first one comes from one of our favorite fans out in Australia. Uh, at Kathy Stan, 4379. Getting in the mindset of Ricky would have been freaking awesome. The guy trained by himself for four years to make a comeback in the space where 90% of the population hated him. That mindset is next level. Oh, and he's a super nice guy. She then commented after that, I don't... Ariel at number two is horse shit. So... <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. That was all Tyler. <laughs> and he has to I wrestle Burton for it. it He's been. paid his dues. <laughs> I don't uh, think it would have been cool to be, be in Ricky's head. Uh, like how dark it probably would have gotten in the middle of that four year period. That probably would have sucked. So it's like, yeah, it feels cool on the other end, but like in the depths of it, no way. Because wasn't it what? the first. Was it 2018 that he did the open workouts with everybody or was it the game? Like he did one of the workouts that first year, I think. And then he kind of just yeah. like, then it was quiet for a few years, right? Like I think he still the fire that first year, but that second and third year he did the whole tough. thing. 2020, 2020 he did. Okay. Yeah. 2020 he did the, the first five workouts showed that he would have qualified. Like he did a whole bunch of stuff in 2020. Yeah. I think that's probably the only way you can kind of keep, your mindset there um so yeah blind rankings is also back tonight hopefully you guys can do better than last week where's the uh, little uh where's the the mark the marker what we got a new layout i don't know tell us if you like it down there uh, a little bit uh cleaner setup oh i like the of, where you could you like the, you like the rundown john, you like the rundown? Yeah. john doesn't know where he's at yeah <laughs> i know what's he coming know, he didn't know what's coming well, if you guys do yeah. not like it, let me know and I'll switch back. Uh, at Lynn Jarek, I think CrossFit ne Media, I guess maybe us, uh, needs to change their narrative on High Rocks and their athletes. High Rocks Media welcomes CrossFit athletes with open arms, celebrates them when they win, even cash, even when they win casual CrossFitters. But Talking Elite Fitness and other CrossFit media, so maybe not us, are dismissive of High Rocks and not celebrating their athletes. When they win, like uh, Mirham and other High Rocks guys who made the quarterfinals, isn't CrossFit to be welcoming to all? John, I'll let you take um, this because you did you did answer in the comments. I'll let you el elaborate uh, here live. Oh, I answered this. I don't remember responding. Would to you that. Would you like me to read so you uh, kind of stay on track? Hold on, I'll, let me answer it and we'll see if it's the same Let's see if thing. Because I'm curious if I say the same stuff or if I just kind of. <laughs> rant on different things I, I don't know i i would say the second anybody from high rocks does anything at the games that i would first want to celebrate them if like when they win for instance i'll give an example i wanted so badly for hunter mcintyre to make it to the ruck run because i in in um 2019 and he got cut the event before the ruck run and he would and lucas holberg destroyed everybody um, there was a German fella who was right behind him, but he destroyed everybody. And then um, Josh Wistrup. Yeah, Wistrup. He was second. And uh, he was with him for a while. Then Lucas Holberg kind of took over. Um, Hunter would have destroyed both of those guys by more of a margin than they destroyed the rest of the field. And I am all for, I want to see dominance in what you are good at. I love seeing that. I love seeing Fraser's friendly Fran. I love seeing... Proning 21-15-9. I want to see people be dominant in the things that they are dominant at, right? Now, that doesn't right. mean I want I want Tia to just kill everybody, but like somebody who specializes in something, I like seeing how much better they are than everybody else. Um, I like seeing the Mertens wins, right? And Hunter would have had one of those in the ruck run. He's the high rocks king. So the second mirror him makes the games and beats Tia in a 5K and then just – uh, I don't just freaking dick slaps Tia in a 5k race, then I will be all for it singing her praises. I don't care if you win the open. I have been vehemently loud about that forever. 
I tell Brian all the time that the open doesn't matter when you when you try to do your rankings because when he picks his people, he likes to think about the open and semifinals. That's not the games. So the second she does anything in the games, I will celebrate. I will give her praise and I will give her flowers. But until then, I don't care. Now, maybe other media people do care. You know, I know I'm very game centric and I'm not much on the other competitions other than like, you know, Rogue and Wadapalooza, depending on the field. But that has been my position with High Rocks people forever. I don't care that Christy Aramo won a local Houston race. <laughs> I like, you know what I mean? Whenever she beats all the Elite 15 people, then I'm for it. I'm pretty sure when Ricky tried High Rocks, I told Spin and everybody else, it's not that big of a deal because he can't beat the top guys. He would have to lose 20 pounds and dedicate his life to beat those guys. So I have the same position on Ricky and Christy Aramo that I do on Mirham in CrossFit. You're just not seeing those two together. I well, think that's, that's what, fair. What do you say? That's, that's pretty much what you said. I mean, you've said it over and over again. Like Outside of the top 20 at the games, I don't think you really care about them too much, John. I don't. You don't matter. Make, You're make not the top enough. 20, and then, then John will start talking about you. Um, You'll get close to the mountain, you, but if you're but if you're outside of that, um, yeah, good luck. Uh, hopefully Tyler gets back, considering he's somewhere not at home. Uh, that's basically what you said, John. You said I would celebrate High Rocks athletes with open arms at the games. The open is wildly different, especially since the workouts are easier than they used to be. Should Mirham make the games, it'll be all love. She's getting mostly the brunt of negativity because I believe Gracie got robbed. So we talked about hashtag Gracie got robbed. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's a terrible like position to come from. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Uh, at SLP baseball Two is John an elementary school gym teacher. I didn't know anyone cared that much about rope climbs. I'd probably make more money if I was an elementary school gym teacher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, at Station 2 Fitness Gym, seated legless rope climbs to eight feet. I think he's talking about potential uh, quarterfinal workouts. Tape line, both hands over and then back down. Eight feet can be easily done. Most rig uprights are eight feet too. Cheaper to buy more ropes than GHDs, but definitely agree no GHDs. High volume of toes to bar. So. I think that's a hard standard to judge for as far as the seated. Like you'd have to video everybody and like their feet would, I guess the feet would just have to be off the ground before you start. Right. Um, that's really creative. I like that a lot. I don't think cross is that creative as you see the right. team workouts. They don't even know how to do work open. They just made harder open workouts. <laughs> we will get that to in a second. Uh, extra sloppy dick slap made my night. So good job, John. <laughs> You're welcome. Actually. And uh, <laughs> LDY 2742. Uh, thank you for the 499. These lightweights are super welcoming. Uh, well, well, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> uh, speaking of lightweights, uh, John, it's time for some quarterfinals talk. The workouts came out a few hours ago. Your first comment on the thread was, I don't like these workouts. So let's take a quick look at them. <laughs> uh, here we Dude, go. Okay. Can we, can we get like context? There was a lot of people chimed in before I chimed in. It wasn't like I was the first one to say I didn't like them. No, but your first comment was, I don't like these. Yeah. That's the very <laughs> simple to the point. Uh, I knew you were not happy about it. So the first workout is my favorite one. Uh, male, female pairs, alternate pairs every two minutes for five rounds, 10 synchro lateral burpees over the bar, 10 synchro front squats and max ring muscle ups, 185, 125. Not bad. I love this workout. I, I and I know people think that I'm going to like go off the rails on, on the team, on the workouts, but these are the team workouts. They are a lot of things similarly tested that we tested in the open. I don't understand Dave's obsession with freaking deadlifts. Like 
I just don't. It's like every single thing has to have deadlifts in it. It's that's I really don't. And I mean, there was no rope climbs or GHDs. Um, I think that's what some people are getting at. There's um, but the team workouts for the last two years have not been indicative of the individual workouts at all. Um, now I know the very first year they were like the exact same, but have been indicative of the individual workouts really like there's not a core but um so i'm not gonna freak out that much because the team workouts last year i thought were trash too um <laughs> as far as like testing and stuff goes um i think they're better than this year but they're not great but when, but when you compare them to the individuals it's not it's not super bad so if you want you want to talk about this workout individually uh yeah, I mean, this one I think is probably the like I probably would agree with you. This one probably is the best one. Um, uh, what are your thoughts on synchro? Uh, James Hobart spoke to it um, on Death by I guess it was maybe yesterday. He hated synchro. Tim Paulson liked it. Do you like the synchro? Do you think it, there's a place for it in teams, or maybe as as much as what happened or what we're seeing nowadays? And uh, this workout individually, I think, I think it feels like they just stuck synchro on there because they didn't know what else to do. Mm -hmm. Um, like, are you going to have one person go and then the next person go? Like synchro helps that a lot. Right. Um, I think synchro is very important in team competition because it separates the true teams from the people that just got a lot of good, got, you know, good people from around their area together. So like I like as far as the worm and synchro stuff goes, I'm all for it. The max muscle ups are not synchro, right? So, um, and I, I think this is a really good workout. Like I think you're not going to burpee very fast. I think the front squats are are heavy. You know, you do five sets at ten at one eighty five. That's no joke. Like I'm, I would love this workout as an individual workout. I think that would be really juicy. Um, every two minutes for five rounds. So 10 minutes total, but 10 burpees, 10 front squats, and then max muscle ups, your scores, the muscle ups with some type of rest in between. No. Oh, just straight through. You get two minutes and then you got to go back and every two minutes. Again. Yeah. You have 10, 10, and then max muscle ups, an amazing individual workout. And then your score is how many muscle ups you get. Tiebreaker is whatever lift you want to throw on after the 10 minutes. You to do, do, a, do a, uh, whatever lift uh it's amount of time and then hip flexion with the burpees um and then there's really i think people would get really really tired fast when you're doing max muscle ups for five rounds like that's a big separating type of a workout i would love that as an individual workout i don't think it's a bad team workout at all um and then after this is where it goes south yeah See his, yeah, Tyler is, he's frozen. He's trying to get back in. He's restarted his computer, but no luck am I, so far. Am I, it's, the people say they can't hear me. Do I need to come back you're, to you? are like cutting out and then come back in. Um, you're, you're mostly okay, but not great. So you'll go you, like you 10 seconds. Come back? Yeah, go ahead. I'll walk through the workouts and then you come back and can tell us how much you hate them. All right. Uh, Second workout for the teams, uh, 50, 30, 20 reps for time, alternating dumbbell snatches, all teammates are synchronized and then, to, uh, toes to bar pairs are synchronized 70 pound dumbbell for the men and a 50 pound dumbbell for the women time cap of 20 minutes. Uh, and then we will go to workout three. Uh, this one. Uh, male, male, female, female pairs. The first pair uh, is followed. The men followed by the women. A 500 meter row, 50 handstand push-ups. Uh, one station, one station. So they have to switch back and forth as needed. 50 wall ball shots, synchro. Uh, and then pair one followed by pair two. 50 synchro wall ball shots, 50 handstand push-ups, and a 500 meter row. Um, Standard 20 pound, 14 pound wall ball, 10 and nine feet. Uh, 
time cap of 25 minutes. And then our last one, only four, again, female, female, and male, male pairs, as many reps as possible in 15 minutes, 30 deadlifts for the women, 30 deadlifts for the men, 30 shoulder to overhead for the female and 30 shoulder overhead for the male. Um, 315 pound deadlifts for the men, 205 for the women, and then 185, 125 for the shoulder to overhead. Uh, asymmetric ears. Uh, why meters, not calories? Uh, yeah, I, I do not like the meters versus calories. I thought in the open, you don't get a benefit for pushing as hard on the row as you do with calories when it comes versus meters. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's probably like you said, it does not read pretty. Do you agree, John? The uh, meters. Yeah. Go, doing meters, uh, in the third workout. No, I mean, I always think cows are better than meters, but it's, I mean, I have, way less of a problem on that type of stuff than I know than a lot of other people do. But I mean, I'm in everybody else's camp with like cows is so much better than meters. I think, I don't know. It's <laughs> at JR Taylor could articulate it much better than I can of why, uh, why cows is better than meters, but it, I, I'm not, I'm not near as mad about that as I am other things. Uh, sir trolls a lot meters incentivizes going slow. Sean M disagrees. Cows versus meter does not matter one bit. Not sure. I, I, I feel like you can, if you go hard on the, on the, for calorie or for calories, you can get a much better, a bigger gap, right? Like, yeah. Cat meters is less separation, right? Tyler, are you alive? No, he is not. Um, he is out. Uh, John, workout four. Have we seen enough deadlifts? Yeah, yeah, man. I I think this is a Castro special. I think deadlift is his favorite lift, and he puts it, and it biases his programming. Uh. Yes. I, I, four workouts. I know it's teams. I don't think any of these will make a difference. I also right think getting through. I also think the women's weights should be much heavier. Um, and like, like the weights are not equally distributed men versus women. Again, like you're testing, like this is not the open. It's not supposed to be inclusive. You're testing to separate people and like women, strong women or fit women have been shown to move. Like this is a 2007 weight distribution right now. I think it should be 225 yeah. and 135. And the women who can do the 135 shoulder to overhead should be able to create that gap. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, now, we, we talked last week, you were going to high rocks. If you don't see rope climbs and GHD sit-ups after seeing these four workouts, I think I said, I are, are you, are you ready to head over to uh yeah. high rocks and, and start competing? No, there? again, it's team. It's team. It's not individual. I mean, and the team events have not looked anything like the individual events the last two years. So I'm not, I'm not super up like quite. I think these workouts are pretty trash, but, but again, like team, not a lot of people sign up for teams. They have trouble getting, um, as many teams as they can for semifinals. Like if you look at what will qualify, like you don't have to be very good to qualify as a team to semifinals. Yeah. Um, now once you're in semifinals, you do have to be pretty good, but I think, I think like as far as qualifying the right people to the team semifinal, it's literally who wants to do it who's capable of doing these workouts it's not necessarily needing to separate that much now for individuals it's completely opposite 
my big thing for individuals is like you it you have to have things that separate people and there's just not very many hard skills or heavy weights and you can call 315 a heavy weight um but it's not it doesn't test like brute strength you know what i mean and like i'm all for earning your strength i'm all for earning that but if they're like you know there needs to be that 245 265 snatch or that 275 315 clean and jerk that that separates the real deal people. And like, if you have to do a lot of fitness to get there, I'm 100% on board with that. But there is no, but there, and I'm not even, this isn't about like for, for me personally, but like the games people not get separated. Uh, like you look at these workouts, none of them are good for tall people. None of them. Like if you're over six foot, you're pretty screwed. That row is insignificant. That 500 meter row, because right. you got 50 freaking handstand pushups that all the little guys are gonna do in in <laughs> 50 seconds, right? And then it's not even like you have a lot of wall balls to take away. It's 50 wall balls. I know it's right after the 50 handstand pushups, so like you know you're juiced up a little bit, but 50 wall balls is not separating anybody. So many people can do that unbroken, right? And like. The team workouts are really just how good are your women for the most part? Because and then like for the really fit people, the this dumbbell is going to affect like 70, 50, 30, 20 on that 70 pound dumbbell. That affects a lot. Like that's that's hard, but it's still a toe to bar workout. It's synchronized toe to bar. It's a hundred toe to bar. It's a toe to bar workout, which means little people. Yeah. Right. You already take you... away the row and the wall balls, which means little people. The uh, ring muscle ups are the crux of the workout, which is little people. Well, that has burpees and then, too. What was the other one? The deadlifts and shoulder to overhead. Yeah, strong people. So that one, but it's not that big of an advantage because it's, it's endurance. It's a 15 minute. I AMRAP still think it'll 15, be the, the shorter people who can cycle those things faster if they are strong enough. Uh, Seth Page. Jump ship training. Uh, his hair's really short there, or he's in a bun. Uh, do you guys think that the team quarterfinals is too gymnastics focused? Are they trying to make up for the opens lack of skill? Not at all. I don't think it's gymnastics focused enough. Here, here's my thought. They're not trying to worry about the top five or ten teams in each region to qualify. What they care about is trying to separate 25 through 35 on the quarterfinal leaderboard. Like th th these feel like those types of work. Like, can you do the requisite amount of work and then make it into the top 30 in each region? This is not to separate the top 10, right? Like those top 10 teams are going to no, qualify. And I agree. not a problem. My concern is. Do these foreshadow what we're going to start seeing in individual quarterfinals? And that is that's a big question. They're they're gonna are they gonna be something similar to this where it's not it, I think they're in, in the individual side, I think you could see some people not qualify to semifinals that probably could if it was programmed differently. If it if Individual was these workouts and whatever individual individual. The I, I bet you there are ten people that made semifinals last year that don't make semifinals this year. And like when I say ten people, I mean like ten names that we know, not just ten randoms. Yeah, I think somebody like Fakowski has a hard time making it to semifinals with these workouts. I completely agree with that. Um, and if Fikowski has a hard time, guess what? Yellow Hosta for dang sure ain't making it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I just. Yeah. I. Again, I, it's teams. I don't think there's a whole lot of people that are too concerned about it. Um, but. And, and the teams are so weak when you get past each region past the top 10. 
100 percent right. and and that's what i'm hoping i'm hoping it's just like hey these are hard workouts we're just getting people who deserve to be here like capacity wise to through on the team side and then individuals will be different will be just different workouts um that's how it has also that's how it has been the last two years as well so but we did see you know ghd's uh handstand walking and uh rope climbs in team workouts the years previous right and there's not there's no there's and, no and floor there's plans not that here so like you're right yeah there's no floor plans i mean you got to figure most of the unless you're invictus or maybe a couple other affiliates you have one team going through this at each affiliate and there's no floor plans individuals we've already talked about there's a lot of people that are doing this. So if, if there's gonna be no floor plans, no shuttle runs, no handstand walking, I mean, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be the exact same. Like, no, not much different. You really hope it's not, it's not, I really hope that's not the case. I like, I like, I will be as upset as people think I was supposed to be today if it's, the, if that is the case. Um, in well, the last two years have proven that that's not the case. So, like, I have hope. When I agree with Nick, that's wild. wild. Uh, Nick, free, 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 uh, zero Olympic lifts in the open and quarters is wild. Is my mic still uh, bad, Brian? Yeah, you keep kind of cutting out. It was it's like you're talking and it kind of just keeps kind of blipping. Let me try the, let me try a different. Like my computer might. Uh, Tyler is in a different city. He's traveling for his wife's. She's doing the quarterfinals on a team. And so he is not at home and uh, his internet or computer is glitchy and he tries to log in, but he kind of freezes up every time. So for right now, just me and John and his stuttering mic. Uh, JR Howell, uh, JR, if you want to join. Let me know. Uh, the cream all will always rise. The top 10 are in regardless, but those who really care about 21 to 40, uh, many of us definitely will be some disappointments. Hopefully there are five scores and one is not a max. So he's talking about the individuals and if there's going to be a part A, part B. Is this better? Uh, it sounds tingier, but it's actually, hopefully it doesn't cut out on you, which is better than nothing. So we'll go with that. Okay. Okay. Uh, any yeah, other come on, Jr. Because we need a third. Yeah, Jr. could be a, definitely a, a good lifeline for the trivia here coming up. Oh dang, soon. I might be in it if Jr. Is in it. I gotta, I gotta, get, <laughs> I gotta like bow up a little bit, Jr. I'm not scared of Tyler in the world. Jr. Got a good, you know, yeah, he, he, whole team maybe. He, he might help uh, the lucky caller. Um, anything else before we move on? Uh, team quarterfinal workouts. Otherwise we're going to be going to blind rankings and you, you're going to be able to call it all. When I'm JR comes on. I don't know. Is he coming Keith, on? you want to join? Send a link. Keith, you want to join? Oh, hold on. We got a special guest coming here soon. Tyler again. We got we we got somebody coming on. It's not Tyler. Uh, all right. Do you want to go get the, your mask while we transition to some blind rankings? All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Next up is blind rankings. Um. So for those who have seen the last few weeks, Manta Sleep is now an official sponsor of The Spin. Uh, if you go down into the link, the description below, uh, you will see uh, there is a discount code, 10% off, use code SPIN, and uh, you will save 10% off of your sleep mask, which John is going to get. Seth. What's up? Thanks for joining. 
happy to be a part of it. Yeah, man. Uh, very cool for joining. Uh, have you seen blind rankings before? I have seen it. Uh, yeah. So you're going to give a list of things and then I'm gonna have to choose with yeah. John where to put them. And then you're going to trick us into picking the wrong order, right? That's exactly how it works. 100%. Yes. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> here he comes. Uh, <laughs> Manta sleep. John has his sleep mask on. He cannot see it. Uh, <laughs> So, John has his, right. his sleep mask on. He cannot see anything. Um, perfect for blind rankings, uh, as always. Nobody knows uh, what's coming up. But uh, this time, you guys are going to guess. Who's on here? Is this the, the jump this, ship guy? It is Seth from Jump Ship. What's up, man? What's up? How are you? I'm good. Uh, the topic this week is Instagrammers. You're going to rate and rank the top five Instagrammers of our list. Not the top five ever, but five CrossFitters. We'll, you're going to rank them on, on their Instagramming abilities. On if we like their Instagram or just who is the most like, followers? That's, again, up to you. Not most followers. This is the quality of Instagram. Oh, I All like right, quality. So. This is this goes hand in hand with Pedro's question earlier today, which oh. drove me nuts that no one answered it. So this and will I be addressing because I have no, I had idea, no idea what idea, so Seth, that is... uh, what kind of what kind of a guy Seth is. So this will be fun. <laughs> you probably can't <laughs> run him over like you do Tyler. So we'll see. Well, so Spiegel has to be five. I will not stand for thirst. That's if she's on there. Uh, all right, this. first one. Pat Vellner. I like Pat Vellner's Instagram. I think he posts quality stuff. He's a real funny guy. Um, I would say two, just in case there's somebody that's, you know, great that I don't know about. I might put him three. I feel like I feel like he is very genuine and he's funny, but I feel like I haven't seen as much good stuff from him lately. Maybe he's focused somewhere else, but two or three, I think, is totally fair. Did for you him. see his blow up on 24.3? I did. I did. <laughs> that is value right there. <laughs> or is, uh, wasn't he is. the one that made the hopper video? The hot one where yes, uh, the American right. sniper shot shot hopper in the row video on the deadlift. He had. He also has one of the the funniest uh -oh. Instagram videos I think I've ever seen. Wow. With uh, I can't remember that the song oh. that was trending, but when he was falling off the cargo net, I think him and Rob did like a collab <laughs> on a video like years ago when he fell off the cargo net at the games. It was one of the funniest Instagram posts I've ever seen. I think he's got to be two, man. Uh, I really do. All right, I can go with that. I think I gonna pretty, you know I'm Rebecca Boussole. Oh yeah. I think she has a great Instagram. She posts stuff all the time and she's hilarious. Like she, she's quite talented with that. Comments. Yeah. All right. Hiller, we'll have you break the tie. Uh, I don't Pat think Vellner. he needs to be on this show. He's going to ruin it with his follower <laughs> nonsense. I've always hey, wanted to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Would you put Velner at number two or number three? I don't, I don't, oh. Wait, wait, we're, I don't this know. This isn't followers. This is just, do this you like his quality of work? Quality of Instagramming. You're going to rank oh, the top Fus five. Between Fusile and Vellner, Fusile. Nope. No, 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 just, no, no. Two or three. Two or three. Do you think, of, of we don't know. You guys don't know who the second, third, fourth, and fifth. You got to give me up a on, speed. So. I have no idea what's going on. I saw oh, attack. Right. Right. Uh, let's you just, are going let's to just rank. Go, let's just go three so we have more. Uh, I know how the game works. I just don't know yeah. what we're ranking. More uh, ranking you know in Instagram or uh, quality. Okay. Okay. Is that fair? So, I'll rock with three for that. Three. Yeah. It's All fair. Right, so Valner's the only one up. Okay. Okay. All right. Next up, Dallin Pepper. Ooh. I feel like he does more. I don't think I can bump him. Post. Yeah. I don't think I could put him above Pat yet. He's like, uh, maybe he's. Yeah. I, I would agree with that. <laughs> I could totally put him both. My pat needed to be two. Dude, it's not that we're going to get stuffed on number one. <laughs> right, I already I'm know. We're going to get so stuffed on number one. It's going to be awful. It, it can't be as bad as Errol Lowen. Um, no offense, Errol Lowen. You're great. I, Dude, you've <laughs> done right. it right. too. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> no one should ever do a documentary on Ariel. Uh, I Dallin, <laughs> that's which I one? say Dallin for four. I'm with you. 
I'm fair. Yeah, go Miller? ahead. Okay. Fair. Four is good, yeah. I, I, I would have actually probably put Pat at four retrospectively, though. All right. That's well, why. you weren't that's that's tough. But Dallin can't be two. <laughs> no. So. All right. Next. Danny Spiegel. One. I don't know what you know, Instagram you, looks like, but <laughs> you, can make a case, you can make a case for both. Look at the way she had not, not my style, but look at the way she commands attention. Not my style, but you can make a case for one or five. That's a great point. But what is well, the purpose this of this? Is is our, other this than is our friends? style of, a, of show. Then five, you maybe know, even to, um... seven or 20. <laughs> Hey, I give I give her number one. She's got the most followers. You get to send me dick pics, and she'll be number one. But she's not. She's number five. Because <laughs> this is a great Christian moral show. You guys, got to come to an agreement. We said five. Five. All right, well, you guys are going to be Hiller, You work. can have heavy influence in the next two ones because I know that. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, no. Well. <laughs> Just for, just for you to He's going to hand us Sporty Beth next. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic. She would be my five. And we, are be my... we are back into a corner. We are back into a corner. We are. We are completely. Faith. It's, it's going to be like Mikey swoosh, and now we're going to put our Barbies three or something. Brooke Wells. Oh, I'm comfortable with her at two. Uh, two. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna. I don't have a choice. It's gonna have to be two. But I'll say my part. I think. I think her stuff is well produced on Instagram. But I don't have any value from her in her post. It's either a random snippet of her doing muscle ups or a barbell clean, or she's selling me something that I don't care about. There's no value in her Instagram. It's one of the ones that drives me the most crazy. You don't think you see the human side of Brooke Wells when right. she's getting in that eye? That's my point. <laughs> well, it's her, there she's any only like, selling. She's only selling. Is there a description to how we're choosing these people, or was it just choose? choose. You, you got to just like, rank no, them based you on. Like them or not? Oh, yeah. I would have put down one number two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, carry on. That's the point of the game. I get it. And the last one. Ooh, Shit. Yeah, I feel I'm nervous about Daniel that. Brandon. Bad. Oh, you you don't want your number one. I'm fine with it. It could have been worse. I'm fine with it, actually. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Overall, it actually worked out okay. You you could have really screwed us, and you didn't. I I think a lot of people would be okay with this list. My personal list would have been Pat Vellner number one out of these people, but I understand I'm not everybody's (laughs) cup of tea. Um, Daniel, We 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 know you love Pat. I, I wish we could have put – I wish I went with your gut and put Pat at number two. I'll just say that. I wish we did that. Would Would you put Brooke four then? Yep. I would. And then that would be the list right there. I think that would be a better list too. But I don't I don't mind this list at all. Taylor, what would your one through five be? Just you personally. It would have been Danielle, Spiegel, Dallin, Pat, and Brooke would have been last. What? Wow. What's that based on for you? A uh, combination of like things people are subscribing to them for and how many followers they have. I'm pretty sure Brooks got more than Dallin. Yeah, but nobody gets what they want out of her. It's like a pseudo ad slash like half naked shot. Not yeah. quite thirsty yeah. enough. Not quite. Yeah, at least she would give the people what they want. As far as what I remember. Not like Spence that I can't see it anymore, which is cool. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, there you go. Blind rankings, Instagrammers edition. Uh, go to mantasleep.com. Use code SPIN. Save 10%. Uh, the next topic, I'll, you can't see Hiller if we do it, but we are bringing back. Oh, this will be fun to get their opinion on this. I, I'm actually really excited to go with my little spiel and let them critique it. <laughs> We're bringing back the mountain. Oh, I get to be on a mountain show. Yes, the mountain is back. All right, get rid of me. I'll just hang out. All right, post open. <laughs> uh, uh, you can still hear me, right? Yep, yep. You're still there. Okay. Oh, sweet. Uh, so John has some updates to the mountain. Of course, we always start at base camp. So we have some people moving up, moving down. John, you ready to kind of defend yep, yourself on uh, base camp? It. 
Yep. So I would ask, uh, let me get through the whole mountain before y'all go on <laughs> like opinions. Okay. Tyler has a hard time with this sometimes, but then we, then we can break it down and I will take any critique and we can go to war once the whole, uh, rigmarole is done. All right. So base camp, this is our big, our big, uh, entries under this is Austin Hatfield and Gracie Walton, the true winner of the, she is a bad girl. She is. Amen to that. And uh, they uh, they previously were on Rookie Hill. Uh, oh, that was me talking. I thought that was somebody else talking. That's you got sound bites now? She is a bad girl. All right. That's right. Wow, that, now it sounds creepy now. I don't, don't do it again. Um, Why? Totally so, creepy. So, uh, previously, they were on Rookie Hill. And now um, they've made their way. They, they looked far into the distance. And they saw a much taller peak. And they made their way over. And uh, they are now at base camp. And what this means is I think they can make noise at the games. I think they're going to go to the games and potentially be top 20, maybe even top 15. Um, all hot Austin Hatfield has done is just checked off the checklist. He's going to keep on doing that in quarterfinals, regardless of how trash the workouts are or not. I think Austin Hatfield is going to thrive. Um, everybody else is just, uh, you know, a couple people took a step back or uh, aren't competing that were competing before or that we did not know. So there's a couple new names from from that. Uh, Brandon Luckett, who was first in North American West, uh, almost just putting them him up there just to see if he can uh, continue on the trend. I really don't think he will, but uh, he's been proving me wrong so far. So I'm going to I'm going to give, give him his flowers until he's until. Luck it's a stops. Monster, right? he's and like, hopefully he don't stop. Hopefully he don't stop. <laughs> he's been killing it. So he deserves to be at base camp for now. All right, on to the list. Are you are you, did you just put Luckett on there because he beat you at some workouts? He did he beat everybody. <laughs> yeah, Luckett is a freak. <laughs> he beat he, he was first in North American West ahead of Bellman. You know, you know him and Cooper Marshall. Are I know very the similar. workouts were I know the oh, workouts man. were very um, – not a lot of separation between the workouts, and they were very accessible. But still, just to Brand, – Brandon will be – In anything. Brandon will be anybody as long as the workout doesn't have a heavy barbell for the most part. He is a metabolic no, he, freak, and he has all the skills. He just cannot move a heavy bar. Yeah, he's let me know. So he'll, in his he'll, DMs. he'll I try, win quarterfinals again. Track, so what you're saying. <laughs> And uh, failed he will do well for sure. Uh, now right. it's time I'm... to the mountain, and I just put I just put one big list on here, John, so you can walk through how you've uh, how you've changed it. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. Bottom row first. Oh. Oh God. Oh, this was a lot, man. Okay. Um, Colton Mertens. Colton Mertens. Uh. <laughs> There's not a lot you can say about him other than he's a bad boy. And uh, that, that dude, it looks fitter. And hey, that's a little bit uh, cringy. It's inappropriate. He looks uh, – calm down. Okay, put a shirt on. Okay, raise an eyebrow again. Um, Didn't you he, say something similar about looks, someone else on the list? He looks uh, He looks more ripped out. And maybe you can speak to this, Hiller, but he looks very, very – I think he looks more ripped out than he did last year. And I know last year – he was a lot smaller, like 10 pounds. Um, I got something about the open announcement. Reward on the street is a cameraman moved his rope as they were filming. And if he wouldn't have had to have adjusted his rope and untangle it mid workout, he would have beaten Medeiros. Yeah. No, I mean, I believe it. Yeah. Like, he's, he sent me some of his rowing numbers. And I mean, like, I think, listen, I think Mertens has potential to be. Don't I'm not, I don't think I don't know if, I don't think I'm, I would predict it. <laughs> what you say? What's up with your internet, bro? You're cutting out again. <laughs> yeah, I do, I'm you fine. and Tyler are struggling to today. To You're probably making great Mertens, points, but we can't hear any of them. <laughs> oh, are you serious? This is terrible. Do you want me to try to sw uh, switch back to my regular mic? No, it's not changing. Uh, keep going. Uh, Haley Adams. Now on the mountain. potential to be top 10. I think Haley Adams is amazing. And I'm just thinking about what we've seen previously with her. You can't really make any judgment calls on her fitness until really semifinals, um, maybe quarterfinals. But I, 
I'm not really going to say anything until semifinals. Um, but I know her potential and her potential top five. And maybe she doesn't do that, but that's still liable to be top 12. We'll get the games this year. Hope I mean, maybe top six, but like I would predict top 12 for sure. And that's worthy of being on the list. There's not very many ahead of her. Um, and then uh, Saxon's new to the list. That's just from Chandler dropping out. Uh, Am I dropping out again? You're good. Yeah, you just keep going. Keep going. We'll have to deal with it. All right. Oh, now I'm, I'm all self-conscious. Other than that, <laughs> there's not a lot of changes. Other than Laura Horvath has inched slightly higher to Tia Toomey. And she was on par with Ricky, but now she's taking a step higher to Tia And honestly, quite frankly, what I should have done was drop Tia off the peak a little bit instead of putting Laura higher. Because of Tia's wrist thing, you know, we don't know what that is, but it wasn't good at the open. So um, I just think it puts a little bit of a wrench into things. And I think Laura's closer to Tia than we thought previously. Certainly. And that's the mountain. The, so Nothing's changed other than those th those changes. If we think about quarterfinal workouts, the team, the, what was released for teams, and we translate that into what individuals may face. Only four workouts. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Sick burn. PCs would, but Brian's hey, would it not. totally was that bad when he first started. Okay. So yep. if you don't make comments, at least right. know the history of Brian Friend's <laughs> internet. Uh, with only four workouts, there's handstand push ups. I guess not really that heavy of a barbell. Is there any chance that what we see at quarterfinals for individuals with only four Tia finds a workout where she cannot do it well enough where she doesn't qualify? The shoulder overheads would be a menace. Even at the 125? I mean, for reps. If it's right? a 15-minute amp, yeah. that's a that's – a, You know what, though? <clears throat> Even – even with a wrist issue, if she puts on one of those super strong, stretchy wrist wraps and just like deals with it, she's still going to get through. I don't know what you could give her that would actually stop her. I, I don't know. I mean, you, you I listen agree. to her I videos. You, you have to way. imagine. You have to imagine her 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 videos make it sound more positive than what it is, right? When she yeah. says that she can't do a workout every once in a while. So again, like she's making make, making improvements, but all it takes is one workout where she lifts it, catches it funny. They do put in heavier cleans. Like I have to imagine something dynamic is not the best for her. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know, but there are certain, there's certain things where like you just, when you have to absolutely get something done and you have to suffer through it once, her base and level of fitness injury or not, I think we'll give her a good enough score that the things she can do super well and score high on will balance her out and get her there. I can't even imagine her finishing 30, like qualifying for semis in 30th place and getting a slot. You know how bad she'd have to do for her standard to take 30th place and get a slot. It's just, unless this wrist thing is a real significant injury and not an itis of some kind or whatever the, the holding the baby too much thing she's talking about is, I don't know what you could give her, what they could program that would stop her from doing what she needs to do to take a shot to get the semis and have the time to heal up between. Hey, John, has anyone ever given you any crap? Yeah, for I, agree. I feel like oh. John is way behind. Uh -oh. What? Your computer is lagging. That's what's happening. I just got to know how he's got the champ beneath Ricky Gerard. I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'm a Ricky guy. And also, he's got Madero's kind of low on that thing. And I wonder if he's looking up like, come on. He he moved Madero's down. He moved Gabby up this last uh, iteration. You know, um, I can't talk crap about Gabby. She's kind of a killer. Yeah, she is. She is. We, if, if you're talking about one underrated confusing. athlete, it's Gabby. Gabby's a freak. For sure. Unless she's got to do the headstand push up standard. I must have uh, missed episodes as to why the guys are are the way they are. I mean, I could say I, I could make an argument for Ricky being above, but like, how? Where do you bump Adler down? Like, what has he done that deserves him to move below compared this, to what he's shown recently? All right, you can I, is my better now? Can I explain it? 
Yeah. You're not. Yeah. Okay. So this is the 2024 CrossFit Games Mountain. And Jeff Adler. Right. Beneath Ricky Garrard. Gotcha. And done. <laughs> That's where he's at. The podium will be between Roman Adler and Velner. They got two of three spots, right? And three of those guys are going to fight it out for the two of three spots. The winner is going to be Ricky. And Laura is versus Ricky. Laura, the, the women, Ricky to the men. But uh, she's got Tia Toomey in, the, in front of her. Uh, and then um, same thing with the women beneath the Velner. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, hanging on, I'm hanging on your words like you can't imagine. I'm like, what did you say? I I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. Sorry. Oh man! Is it better now? Sign on your phone, dude. Go on your phone. <laughs> All right, well, let me do that. Let me. Do that. Your your comedic timing is impeccable. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it's great. It's like you're planning it. It dude, is. Heather's right here because. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he did have Roman ahead of Ricky before this. He moved him okay. down. And then Adler and Vellner have been sitting there in the in the third level. Uh, and then uh, he moved BKG down, put Haley in, uh, and added Saxon and uh, Colton onto it. So I would uh, I would uh, put. I mean, I'm not. It's not my mountain. But if you're gonna have Saxon on there, <laughs> I bet I bet uh, Luckett beats the pants off Saxon. This year, ooh, that's interesting. What, what's John? What's He's John, on a mission. John? John, can you hear us? Yeah. You're not in the chat, are you? Spin, did you comment or was that John? Uh -oh. That was definitely John. I'm so sorry. I, I am not sorry. Oh yeah, just have him like click on the link on his phone, pull it up on there. Yeah, he should have it. Um, I don't know what. Where, how would you rank the guys? Hiller. Uh, honestly, I like him the way that they have him. I, I, I started looking at it closer because someone in the comments said, how could Daniel Brandon and Raptus be on the same tier? But I actually kind of think that they should be where they're at. Um, perhaps bump up Lawson into that third row where the three dudes are sitting. But then who are you going to bump down? You can't really. So it, it just, I, I like it. I think it's a good mountain. I, I got nothing to say about the mountain at the moment. Yeah, I mean, Dan Danielle and Alexis are within a couple of spots on last year, and Danielle did better than her the prior year. So, I mean, you, you take the last two years, I I, I think they're good. Yeah. All right, I'm on my good. phone. Is that any better? At the moment, yeah. There he is. Until you say something important, then we'll find out if it, uh, <laughs> if it matters. Okay. Uh, Corey Leonard, did, did John Young eat some frog grips? I did not. What was the question previous? We were just talking about the men uh, rankings. Hiller agrees with where you have them. Oh, nice. I just want to know how you I, you got Adler the champ below and on a tier with Krennikov and Velner. It was just it, it, it's cool. I, I I agree with it. It's just interesting. I didn't think many would say that. Usually the champ is the champ. I don't agree <laughs> with it, but I think it's close enough. <laughs> uh. Well, the next segment is supposed to be um, some CrossFit Games trivia that you're supposed to try to beat John in CrossFit Games trivia. Have a call in. Have a caller call in. Oh, you got a phone line now? We do have a phone line. Awesome. I bet this is Ariel. This is uh, Dylan Lowen messing with John's internet. He's tired of him talking crap about his life. <laughs> mad, mad about it. I would not be surprised. Uh, connections. Hopefully he jumps back on. Uh, we are going to skip over um, the mountain and we will do some betting with the boys and hopefully that uh, gets solved in the meantime. So uh, here we go. Like All right. Round. Betting with the boys. We do three questions. You guys have to bet put which side you're on. Uh, start off with the first one. Looking to quarterfinals, Taylor Self versus the World Quarterfinals Edition. Who has the most wins during the showdown at CrossFit Crash? 
Yes, he's back. I changed, I changed rooms in my house. Hopefully, this is better. We'll try it. We will try it. So, we'll start off. John, who has the most wins? Taylor versus the world. Uh, meaning Colton, Down, and Hopper? Yes. And or Taylor. I'm going to roll with Colton. I just think he's going to – there's going to be a gymnastics workout that he should just smash, and um, I think there will be some type of squatting workout that he should smash. I think that's two out of the four, and then it's a wrap. If there's a part two and then there's a lift, um, between – it'll probably be Hopper who wins that lift. I don't know what to tell y'all guys. I'm doing in. I'm doing as good you're, you're as doing I can. Good. I you're, good. I'm, you're, don't, don't, you're good. Just talk. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to roll Colton. We're talking Steph. quarterfinals, right? Quarterfinals when Taylor takes on the three guys. I'll I'll take Dallin. Crash. I'll take Dallin. I think that uh, – I think he's – not only is he already established in here, but he's still up and coming in a big way, in a, in a lot of ways of his game. And I think um, – each year you'll see him take another step forward. And I think Dallin uh, will put on a show during quarters. Hiller? I, I would take Dallin uh, as like the total quarters, but just winning workouts is, is why it's just it's oh. like in I'll total, I think Dallin would win too. I understand the difference now, but I'll still stick with Dallin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take uh, Jedediah Snelson. Not, not many squats. Uh, uh, did you hear him earlier? He, he was on yeah. I think, Pedro's and he was calling out Taylor. And I figured while we're getting <laughs> Taylor by not ever choosing him, I might as well choose Jedediah. I choose uh, Colton as well. I think Colton's in crazy good shape at the moment. But in either way, like that one's a good pick too. It, yeah, I, I think if you look at the quarterfinal workouts again by teams, I, I just don't see them changing it that much. I think these would line up for Colton. And I think that they're going to be in the same type, same structure. I don't think we're going to see anything that's materially different where it wouldn't be the benefit for Colton. Um, so I'm, I'm going with Colton as well. Colton. I'll just say, uh, I think I think the, the weights and, and some of the movements will be, not that he's not strong, <clears throat> but I think some of the other guys are stronger, will move the weights better. And I think the row will play a significant part in the individual quarters as well, which he will yeah, feel the same. And who, or Hopper. You know, meters, yeah. Seth, 500 meters, 1,000 meters. God, do I hate meters. <laughs> uh, doesn't bother me, but I think it'll play a bigger role. What weights would stop Colton? Uh, I just feel that. like, yeah, that or maybe even cycling heavy enough deadlifts. If the deadlift carries over again, like to team, I feel like heavy enough deadlift could stop him compared to someone like Hopper or Dallin. Dude, he it depends on how many reps you do. Hey, dude, you know we're talking. Well, you hear leverage over said? reps is, is different than a one rep max. One rep maxes are not that important. It's how many I times know. you can Colton actually has leverage, all the leverage in the world. Being short, that would be actually incorrect. No, but I, I, I promise you. Uh, go, go ahead. I'm not saying go he's ahead. not a good deadlifter. I'm saying physically levered, lever, levering his body, he will not have the same leverage. He's not wrong. Speaking in terms of physics, he's just I think 315 for reps, Colton deadlifts faster than everybody that's there at that quarterfinals camp. Maybe I think but... what you can see from the team workouts that I totally think will carry over to the individual workouts. What Dave said is that everyone who gets into the 25% is going to be able to play, which plays really well for Colton. That's true. Like crazy. But he also made a he made a comment about being able to play and getting to a certain point. He actually made a little comment about getting somewhere. So everyone can play maybe in the first few minutes of something, and then something could dead stop somebody and there could be a tie break in there. So it depends on how they structure it. But yes, you, he did say that too. Yeah. I mean, if, it, if it's the same as this, I mean, I think. Why do you uh, think it would be the same, Andrew? The same because it wasn't the last as far year. as scheme and uh look look like, but not workouts, probably not even movements. But I could see like the, the thought of it being very similar. Yeah, I mean, I looked through these workouts, somebody who just 
made it into the masters 25% and like I could probably do most of them, but I wouldn't get through very far on them. Right. Like oh, that I, makes me think gated workouts, right? Like, uh, you know, 16.2 type type. Uh, uh, all right. Moving on to the next one. Does Tia Claire to me finish top 10 in the quarterfinals? Start with uh, Seth. Man, that is so tough. Uh, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say she's done um, kind of playing around in these, in these workouts and finds a way to make her wrist less of a factor. I'm, I'm, I'm in the camp that the wrist is not a huge factor and she's playing it safe, being really smart about it because there's nothing at stake early on. So I think the wrist is not likely a huge factor and she'll figure out how to mitigate it. And she'll just hammer quarterfinals without even, yeah, without even max effort. I think she'll do well. We'll see. I'll go with her. Hiller. If John's mountain is correct, then there's no way that this chick can finish outside of the top 10 and maintain status at the top of the mountain. So I'm going to say she's in the top 10 because I agreed with the mountain. <clears throat> Also, I'd like to say right here that she's looking like she's on the hot tail to be the next David Hippensteel, like working through her injury. And she's like, I can't even hold my baby anymore. <laughs> They're giving us any muscle ups. Uh, I'm going to say she's outside the top 10. Oof. And before we left the, uh, the, the last topic, my question when we were talking about her, I was going to say, how wild would it be if she finished 31st in her region and she was in the first heat? And day one at quarter of semifinals, how wild would that be? Be a cool story. It make it a little bit more interesting. The first, uh, the first heat, heat now, on uh, it's top ten in the world, right? That's the question. Yes, but I'm saying that that's an easy one for me. I'll say no. She's outside the top yeah, ten. I'm gonna say no too. I uh, and the mountain doesn't matter about quarterfinals, Hiller. It's the 2024 <laughs> CrossFit Games. Okay, when she gets to the games, her baby wrist is going to be fully back strong as Tia wrist, all right? Doing whatever way she wants to get it done with. I know you're a big fan of her getting done in certain type of ways. It doesn't matter. She'll be fine come games time, okay? Our quarterfinals, I think uh, I think she'll do – She'll. there's a first submission window. She'll know where she stands. She'll do whatever workout hurts the most the last, and then she'll just do it what she has would be in the top whatever 40 that in her region that's what i that it's would hard to argue up. that um yep. but i think i think that's what she'll do all right so we got she two outside up. two two inside uh and the last one open or the quarterfinal participation over under 50 percent <sighs> signing up registering for quarterfinals it's right around that number every year at the top 10%. Now moving to the top 25%. Do we see 50% participation? God. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say too. no. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm going to say no. Just under. Do you know what it was last year by chance when there was top, the top 10%? I think it was right around 50%. All right, so they're going to take an extra 15. Ugh. What are those extra 15% of people going to think about it? Less hey, fit. Maybe they less even fit. Yeah, they're less fit. But probably more. <clears throat> I don't know. If you keep track of Reddit the way I do, there's a lot of people who are super pumped about making it. Until, until <laughs> they, they just, see the work. They might just be the loud ones. Yeah, they might just be the loud ones, though, the ones that are pumped. And there might be so uh, many people who are like, I'm going to do the workouts, but I'm not signing up. And I know of a lot of people who are doing yeah. that. I'm going to be a man of be. Reddit. I think it'll be over, over. over. Hiller takes over. But over, but close. Yeah. Or like, way uh, over. No, yeah. barely. Like I think it's just. I think it's just under. Hey, and if yeah. that's true, fifteen percent and fifty percent still—that's a crazy bump in money for CrossFit. Yeah. It right? is. Oh yeah. That's How many people play like, here? Ten percent of. Ten percent of. Three hundred thousand. It'll be three hundred and forty-six thousand. 
So it's going to go from about 5,000 to so about 70,000. Yeah. So it's a, it's like 26,000 more people would participate in quarterfinals crazy. than last crazy. year. Well, when That's you put it that way, it sounds like it's going to be under, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think it's interesting because I think you have the top 10%. Like people don't do it because it's like, well, I qualified. It's kind of a good achievement, but I have no chance of making the semifinals. You've now added these people who have now qualified for quarterfinals for the first time. I could see more than 50% doing it in that 11 to 25 percentile just because it's like, oh, I made it. I want to try this. Let's see how I do. So I'm going to go with Hiller just over 50%. I think there's a lot of people who are pumped about it. Next year, they yeah. might not be, but we'll see. Yeah, it all depends on what their experience is if they stand around looking at a barbell for a while. Um, it's going to make all the money grab people like really salty if it, if it is over 50%. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'll be happy if it's over 50%. And then their yeah, ploy yeah, yeah. to do this was, was correct. Their ploy of what? I hope they make their all the money. Ploy. Yeah, I do too. People don't like to be wrong, but it's like a, I kind of hope I'm wrong there about the, the money grab thing. Yeah. Uh, all right. It is now time. I need the first caller to do CrossFit Games trivia the first time. You guys will be luck. competing Nobody against. Can hear me. Be competing against John Young. Hopefully, <laughs> he can uh, answer. Your whiteboard. Just hold up like your whiteboard. So hey, if I can't, if you can't hear me, I'm just gonna type my answer in on the comment. Okay. Um, so we have uh it'll be five questions each. So each of you know the caller will, and John will each get five questions. If one of them does not get it right, you can steal it. And Hiller and Seth are your lifeline. So each of them you can ask them for help on one question. So you get two total questions. So the person who does call in will automatically receive a $20 gift card to Paper Street Coffee, paperstcoffee.com. So even if you're embarrassed, you still can get that. And then if you do beat John somehow, you win a limited edition uh, barbell spin flag for your garage gym affiliate, wherever you want to take it. So Need somebody to call in and uh, we'll get this thing started. If John wins, does he get to keep the flag each week? No, he doesn't get the flag. Does he have like 50 of them in his garage? Limited number. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, come on. Has anyone, ever, has anyone beat John before? It's the first no, time. I'm undefeated. Somebody call. Oh, this is, Quit yeah, being somebody, call. somebody call. <clears throat> How many viewers are on right now? Someone will yeah, call. 437 people. Shut and up. Let's go. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Here we Everyone go. Everyone else here, losers. Oh, we got somebody? We got somebody. <laughs> Caller, hello. Here we go. Here we go. Mute your team, YouTube. Make, make sure you mute YouTube. It's like Jigsaw wants to play a game. <laughs> Oh, Jigsaw. Hello. Hello. The connection. Can you hear me now? Can I hear you? We can start to hear you. I don't know why. I I don't is... <laughs> we do not have a good connection. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're gonna have to try another caller. All right, next one, call on, call on in. If nobody, if nobody else calls, we can do Seth or Healer. Yes, uh, yeah, LDY twenty seven forty two. Tia tapes that wrist and rocks up. Oh, it should be again. Hiller and I versus you. You're the senior. I'm analyst. saying we can Hiller do that. I should get to team up. Yeah, we should team yeah, up. That's and what beat I'm saying. Ca caller, how are you? <laughs> Yeah, we All right, here we go. I think that was the same guy. Caller, hello. Caller, can you hear you? Dang, Savon does this 24 yeah. hours. 
All right. Go ahead. Uh, homie, it's not that hard, dude. Like, quit being a little bitch and stop talking to your voice transformer. Ortega. What's up? Can you hear me? You good? Maybe a little better. Oh. It's Ortega? Ortega. Okay. Now it's Ortega. Oh. Using a voice transformer? Oh. I don't know. Nobody can, nobody can get through. Oh, if it's your fault, then I take no, it back. Well, no, I, <laughs> I can hear you guys. We can't hear you, though. Oh, Vindicates is not a caller issue. I apologize to the caller. Yeah, it might not be a caller issue. I'll right, we'll try this one. <laughs> the caller's like, what the hell, man? Sorry. <laughs> caller. Yeah, I heard you. Like it's the roadcaster. It is the roadcaster. It is uh, not, okay, not cooperating. It's the roadcaster, caveman. All right. You just oh, want yeah, to do Seth is. and Hiller on this one, and then we'll, we'll try it again next time? Yep. There we go. Well, we beat John. Can we pick someone from the, the comments to give the prize to after we destroy him? I do like that. So we'll do three hey, questions. Seth's been three watching questions. all the old footage. You come out with 2007, 2008 stuff. Like, he's, he's going to... We'll you know what? I still Is screw it all up one? anyway. I still all right, so screw it each all of up. you, watch it, each but. of you will get three questions, and we'll go in order. <clears throat> we'll go John, Seth, Hiller. If John does not get it right, we'll pass it off to Seth. He can steal it and then go to Hiller. All right. First question to John: What year Sorry. were burpees not programmed in the CrossFit Open? Hmm. hmm. That is a hard one. I'm going to say 2010. Not correct. Seth, do you want to? Can oh, you steal? Man. Uh, I will go with 20. 12 incorrect 2014 also incorrect 20, 2015 Damn. had no burpees in the open it's 14.5 hey, bro, like, yeah. no it's all right seth 15 huh which male athlete to... has four top 10 open finishes to... in the last five years which four male top athlete has four list. top 10 open finishes in the last five years? I'll go with uh, Pat Bellner. Incorrect. Oh. Hiller. I'm going to go with BKG. Incorrect. And John. I really like this game. <laughs> I'm going to go Yona Koski. Oh, guys. 0 for 3 again. God, we wow. look so dumb. Who Jeff is? Adler. Oh, someone said really? it. Really? Someone yeah, said, said it right away, too. Jeff Adler. Oh, I the I only it. time I in the, since, since sure. 2020 was in 2022, he finished 12th. Damn. Uh, here is one for you guys. Uh, Hiller, who oh, okay. is the oldest male to win the CrossFit Games? Is it James Fitzgerald? It is. He was 33 in 2007. Thank God. What so type of Hiller softball wins. question is that? You give us freaking the hardest open questions ever, and you're going to hey, give dude, him everyone got the oldest right? person? Everybody like, got men, There's uh, only like three men who have ever won good it. For you. Like, then you're good gonna... for you. Hey, Matt <laughs> Fraser was close, all right? He was like 80 when he finished the last year. <laughs> all right, John. Who is the only athlete to qualify for the Rogue Invitational via the Q twice? Say the question again. Who is the only athlete to qualify for the Rogue Invitational via the Q, the online qualifier, twice? Danny Spiegel. No. Seth? I'll say Lauren Fisher. Oh, I have no. another guess. I should have <sighs> with this person first. I'm Hiller? Now. Uh, is it Chandler Smith? It is not. God! You Suck. We suck. <laughs> can I can I go again? No. Who, yeah. You don't get the points for it, but get, do you know it? Is it who is it? 
All right. Well, who did you say, Seth? Who'd Seth say? Laura Fisher. It's Laura Fisher. Uh, Mertens. Colton Mertens. No. No, he made it last Manon year. Manon Anganes. I would have never gotten her. No, I like never. I, I can get that. I would have never got. I like her, but never. Dude, this, I All listen. Right. I know James <laughs> questions. I don't know <laughs> these off the wall. Hey, according to these questions, you know neither. <laughs> uh, Seth, the which one? one? You got the you got the only games question. All oh, right, right, right. Uh, Seth, here you go. <laughs> which woman won their 2023 semifinal without winning? One event. Uh, Which woman won the 2023 semifinal without winning an event? Oh, man. I'm trying to think of... uh, Did did Alex Kazan win her semifinal? I don't know. I'll go Alex Kazan. I don't even remember if she won or not, but that's my pick. Incorrect. Hiller. Oh, that's what I was. Um, Ellie Turner. That is correct. Boom! Nice pull. <laughs> John, did you know that? That's two points, yeah. Mr. Young. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I, I'm sure Hiller's the best <laughs> analyst. Uh, Hiller to get, Hiller to get three points. Uh, over, under. So, John, so out. you have no. John, you have to a- answer this one for Hiller. So it's between Hiller and Seth. Over under. What's the least number of events a barbell has been used at the CrossFit Games? Over or under? I just choose a number. Yes, but uh, John, John will an- John will give you over under. Oh, I'm giving the over under, and you have to answer uh, it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Um, two. Would you see Barkley's freaking comment? It's no, I can't see the comments. Did he say two? Yeah. Does he think it's over or under that two? All right. Now, which way is over and which way is under? I, I want to say, is it between over would be three or more, or under would be zero. one or zero. Okay, I'm gonna say over. That is correct. Yeah, four. Oh, okay, four. Three. It happened three times: 2015, 2019, and 2022. Only featured a barbell in four events. Hiller, I'll give you the over under. Seems on this like one. a lot. Like that's the least amount. That's the least. Yep. Uh, Hiller, you give the over under. How many times has Sam Briggs won an open workout? That's a fun one. Is there a clock? <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, twice. That's your over under? It's my- yeah, two times. What if you choose the number? You can't go over or under. Yeah, then you win. But you're not oh, going to get it. Push. Who, who's, whose pick is it? Uh, both of you can answer. I'd say over. John, do you agree? You want to give a number? I'm going to say over, and I'll, I'll say five. Uh, she's won five. I'll, yeah, you think she I'll is. Four, over four. She <laughs> she won twelve open workouts, guys. Whoa, that's amazing. <laughs> Glad I went with over. Uh, all right. Damn, Corey Leonard hit a ten. Good job, man. Yeah, You're way close. better. Uh, Jr. listed four right there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I uh, thought, you- damn, my bad, Sam. <laughs> like worldwide, not down. You mean worldwide, right? Yeah, open workouts. Totally. She won 12, 12 open workouts okay. in Good the world. Lord, that's crazy. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, all right, we got. We'll do three more. Um, we'll go back to start to John. Who had the worst event finish and still won the CrossFit Games? I'm trying to think if there's a handstand push-up event that Laura Horvath. I, I, I'll say Ridner. Yeah, I'll say Laura Horvath. Running 37th and triple three. Unless some, unless you're going to count 2000. Like, hold on, 2008. See if Kalipa had like a. 97th in a hill. Right it's, it's in it's in the games era, so 2011 through current, so not the ranch or 2010. 
not the ranch. I'll say, I'll say Rich is 37th then. Incorrect. Seth? Hmm. Hmm. My, my gut tells me one of the workouts Matt may have bombed back in the day, like the rope climb fail, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. And one. You know, I'm going to go. I'm just going to go out of left field here. I'm going to say Camille. Elizabeth Elevated was really low, too. Camille is incorrect. Ah, worth a shot. It's got to be Sam Brace. Also incorrect. Is it Adler's Elizabeth Elevated? This, this woman took 38th place in the ranch deadlift ladder. Katrin David's daughter. Oh, damn! That's a good. That's a good question. That was a that's good the, that's the only good question you've had. The rest of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> You're out, John. That's uh, a really good trivia question. Well, thank you. Glad you like one of them. Uh, Seth, who has won back-to-back -back Dubai Fitness Championship titles? Um. Let's go with. Uh, oh, that means he's got no idea. I'm trying to think back because it's like it's been it's been a while. I'm trying to think of who they used to invite every year. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea. We'll go with. Uh, didn't Matt win it one time? We'll go with Matt. Maybe he won twice. I don't know. He didn't. He did not win it back to back. Hiller, Fikowski, false. John, <laughs> Roman. I hate you, John. Roman. I swear it was Roman did not Freyova. win it back to back. Karen Freyova. Oh, damn. You said we are terrible. You said Roman. What? You said Roman. I said Roman. Exactly. Freyova. Yeah. I said I gave you a yeah. men's pick and a women's pick. Yeah. No, no. Wait a minute. You can't choose both. No other. <laughs> Karen is the only one to have won back to back. Roman did not. And Hiller, last question. Which female athlete has won the Open the most times? Jamie Green? No. John? That's a good pick, though. I know. He's been, like, all sneaky. I thought it was, I said... <laughs> this one might surprise you guys. I know. That's how I'm feeling, too. He's, he's like, pulling these off-the-wall that you would never pick think of things. My original thought was, was Sam because of the 12 events, but I'm going to – I'm stuck between Camille and Sarah. I'll, let's roll with Sarah because I think that I don't. Sarah is the correct Sarah. answer three times 2017, 2019. That's the only, I didn't know that at all either. I was just guessing. All right, you guys want to do the, the, did Camille win it twice? Uh, I don't know. It's not on my list. <laughs> Spring, I would, I would not have known. Um, you guys want to do one tiebreaker? Yeah. All right. So this is a list. I'm going to give you a subject and you have to keep going around in a circle naming off people and you if you get it wrong, like. you're out. Oh, cool. Okay. So you just have to this is name people. Me out right away then. So Hiller, since you had the most, do you want to go first, second or third? Third. All right. So it's John. You'll start off. All right. Terrible idea. So you're going to list off athletes who have five or more CrossFit games event wins. So basically, you'll say athlete A, if it's correct, you'll move on to Seth. He'll list off. You can't repeat names until you guys miss or you run out. All right, John. Okay. Matt Frazier. Matt Frazier. <clears throat> okay, Seth. Froning. Okay. Hiller. I feel like it shouldn't be that hard. It should not be hard to get nope, the first it should round. not be hard. Anyone that's won a CrossFit, five or more CrossFit Games event wins. And yet the second I say something like Josh Bridges, I'm boned, but I'm going to say Josh Bridges. That's correct. All right. Back to John. See it to me. Oh, I thought you already said. Okay. Seth. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go Carl Webb Saunders. Uh, yes. 
You said Killer. five, right? Five or more. <sighs> Freaking Sam Briggs. Yep. She had 11. John. Annie Thorne's daughter. She had 14. Seth. Jason Kalipa. He had six. Dang. Ooh, getting close. <laughs> <laughs> Hiller. Laura. Laura Horvath has had 11. No, the other Laura. Oh, you're going to go with Horvath because you got it. Okay. Uh, John. Mm. Camille. You are out. She oh. does not have five or more event wins. All right. Up to Seth and Hiller. This is a games question, John. I know. I know. I'm really disappointed in myself. <laughs> uh, this is yeah, I got hard though. I'm just gonna throw Koski out there because of the swim events. Incorrect. Oh, Hiller. Ah. There you guys are all still in. If you all miss, is that right, Hiller? If you get it right, you win. Hmm. She's. I really want to say this person, but hmm. Dude, Katrin. Katrin Davis Slaughter had 13. You Wait, we didn't say Katrin? Nice Dang job, Hiller. Yeah, I, I already, said, already said Katrin. Hey, got, how we many did not, we did not got, include. You three. You guys did not include Kristen Clever with six, Akin Wally with six, Kristen Holta with five, Fikowski with eight, Velner seven, Adler six, Gee had five, Spencer Hendel had five, Ooh. Spieler and Roman both had five. I was so in five. Five deep. was a big, a lot of fives. I wish we had like a little thing that checked off, like a name. I do. I wish I, I was one of those too. The names we said. What would you say? What I'm board. saying. I wish it was on the board. Yeah, but uh, if we have a if we have a caller, John, then they can't see it. So like Jeopardy, it'd be unfair to you. Yeah, so, no. That's why. Well deserving win on Andrew's part. Thanks. Yeah, that was fun. I like. What do I, I, like I, you know, I got to give it to someone? I got to give some stuff to someone. Yeah, pick out a winner, and they will win a flag. I'm gonna give it. Uh, oh, a flag. Barbell spin flag. Corey Leonard. Corey Leonard. Corey, message me on Instagram. You will win a barbell spin flag, and uh, we will uh, we'll hold the the gift card for Paper Street Coffee for next time. Hopefully, the the roadcaster wants to cooperate but uh thanks guys thank you hiller thank you seth um for jumping on last minute to fill in for tyler uh we all know that the senior analyst now is uh hiller john you've been demoted to uh analyst maybe next time yeah, so. we're we're <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching uh Just next week up with these open questions yeah, those were tough. He, uh, he wasn't on his game, dude. He was all spazzed out because of his microphone. <laughs> uh, next week, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. Same time as always, Colton Mertens, Jake Berman, 100 bar-facing burpees, winner take all, $1,000, thanks to Hero Barbell Company and Swolverine. So see you next week, and we'll uh, see you can do the burpees the fastest. <laughs>